I know that kind of anger. Hell, I've felt it. But you have a baby. And Bree. You don't want to expose them to that kind of anger. Did I... Did I make you feel this way? Like you could... Could... I, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, you did. Well... How did you get past it? Did you love me back then? Yes, of course I did. No, I loved you. And once I remembered that, it helped. But I was, I was gone. No, no. Yeah, sure. You'd moved on physically, but, uh, but what I felt about you, that, that was still there. Look, Jess, I, I know you. I know how you feel, what makes you happy, and what you need. And that's why I'm here. I, I just came by to let you know that you don't need to go this alone, and that you can't get through it. bunch of unfortunate events. Christian, would you stop frowning? You're going to get the most awful lines. Look, and then this guy turned on me, and he had a gun, no less. Who is he? Oh, uh, that's not important. Why not? Well, because what's important is, did he hurt you? No, no we're, we're fine. Thank God, because that is all that matters. What does he want with you? Well, I, I don't know. If I knew, he wouldn't be a problem, would he? Now, besides, he's a man, and you know men, they say one thing and mean another. My brother's a cop, Tina, and he's right upstairs. If you don't want to talk to me, I'm sure he'd be happy to take you downtown. Sort this out. Well, you know, I don't, I don't think that would be necessary. I mean, particularly if uh, you two are willing to help me out. Thanks for coming. I wanted to see you, and I didn't want to wait till the funeral. You get through it. I think it'll help. We'll start the healing. Yeah. Healing? I don't even know what that means. Uh, I know, but you will. You will, all right? I'll... Stop. Days are going to go by, and all of a sudden you're going to look down, and Bree's going to be all grown up. You're going to have to catch up, because she's going to need you, too. Right? And then you're going to discover that you're living again. And that's what Nash would have wanted. For you to move on. Live an enjoyable life with your children. I always knew you were an amazing man. It's just that... Stop. Look, when... When you left, it wasn't easy. I'll admit that. But you loved him. And I'm just happy that you guys had a chance to share that. We had our time. No regrets. Thank you. You want me to marry your mom? You're my dad, aren't you? Hey, is that the mail? Uh, just an old magazine. Right. Honey, are you logged on? Because I have to rewrite my resume. I'm on it. What happened to the gig at B? Long story short, I gotta find a new job. We don't want an annulment. Really? Ask Adriana if you can find her. We love each other. We, we want to make this work. So don't gloat quite yet, Dorian. Roxy and I are still a little twig on your family tree. Dorian and Rex. I'm sorry, Dr. Lord. I, I tried to stop him, but he said he was family. Thank you, uh, Robert. I will uh, 
take care of Mr. Vickers from here. Thank you. How's wedded bliss? Us newlyweds, we gotta stick together. I mean, I don't care about me, but what about poor David Vickers? I mean, why should he have to suffer? David Vickers is part of this? David Vickers. This is David Vickers. David Vickers, my dog. You named your dog after your ex-husband. Well, yeah. I mean, why not? I mean, I think they look a little bit alike, don't you? Especially around the eyes. And you know what? David's nose was always so cold. I've never understood why. I mean, maybe it's the champagne. So this trouble you're in, you and your dog. Yeah. Right. Um, we, we really need a place to stay. It would give us a chance to catch up. Over my dead body. <laughs>